This is an easy question. I'll classify it as a 600 level permutation combination question. 10 coins are tossed simultaneously. In how many of the outcomes will the third coin turn up ahead? That's what the question is. When you toss a coin, there are two possible outcomes. It could turn out to be a head or a tail. Each of the 10 coins will actually have two such outcomes. So you'll have two outcomes for the first one and two for the second and two for the third, so on up to the 10th coin. So the total number of outcomes will be two times, two times, two multiplied 10 times over. We're going to get an answer which is equal to two raised to the power of 10. Now the question says the third coin turns up ahead. The third coin turns up ahead. It actually does not have any longer two possibilities. It has to turn out to be a head means it's got only one possible outcome. What about the remaining nine coins? Each one of those nine coins will have two possible outcomes. The third one is fixed as a head. Let's look at the first coin. It's got two outcomes. It could turn out to be a head or a tail. The second one could turn out to be a head or a tail. The fourth one could turn out to be a head or a tail. So on and so forth, all the way up to the ninth and the tenth coin. So you'll have two outcomes possible for the first and two for the second and two for the fourth, all the way down to two for the tenth. So we'll have two times two times two multiplied nine times over. So we'll have two power nine outcomes possible for the remaining nine coins. Third coin turns out to be a head. So we'll have only one possible outcome for it. So the remaining nine coins will have a total of two raised to the power of nine outcomes. So the third coin turning out to be a head with 10 coins being tossed simultaneously will have a total of one into two power nine or two raised to the power of nine outcomes. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. We discussed that the third coin has got only one possibility turning out to be a head. What about the remaining nine coins is what was the question that obviously comes to our mind. To that question, the answer is each one of those coins has got two possible outcomes. So all nine together will have two raised to the power of nine outcomes. What is the required number of outcomes? The required number of outcomes when 10 coins are tossed simultaneously, where the third one turns out to be a head, is a product of two possible outcomes. One, the number of outcomes in which the third turns ahead and the number of outcomes for the remaining nine coins. The first part, the answer is 1. Second part, the answer is 2 power 9. So final answer is 1 into 2 power 9 or 2 raised to the power of 9. Before you leave, do two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash core. Try Visaco's online GMAT quant course. Start with this topic, statistics and average. Right? Understand how the teaching methodology works. Experience the UI UX. You'll realize that this is a very comprehensive course that's extremely affordable. Once you're done with the first chapter, you can pay and convert it and get access to the remaining chapters. Last thing before you leave, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash Best wishes for a GMAT preparation.